Hi, I'm Robert Richardson, and I plan to teach polymer chemistry at the university. The chemical industry is increasingly dominated by polymer science, so a strong working knowledge of polymer chemistry will greatly benefit undergraduate students looking for future employment. My PhD at the University of Warwick with Sebastian Perrier focused on the use of responsive polymer nanoparticles to carry and selectively release drug molecules within tumour sites. Being partly funded by Cancer Research UK and an oil additives manufacturer, Lubazol, I gained insight into a wide cross-section of the chemical industry. My subsequent postdoc here at Liverpool has been focused on combining polymers with inorganic nanoparticles for biomedical applications. Having previously worked at the university, I have established a network with existing members of staff, which I hope will prove beneficial to the role of lecturer. As well as within the university, I have collaborated extensively with academics around the UK and abroad, resulting in several publications in well-respected journals. With such extensive past work, I feel suitably qualified and knowledgeable to lecture in polymer chemistry. Throughout my PhD and postdoc, I have supervised and worked closely with a number of undergraduate and PhD students in the lab. I also had the enjoyable experience of supervising a cohort of 12 MSc students over the full course of their 20 weeks of lab projects. I worked closely with academic staff to tailor and structure the experimental component of their course with what was being taught in lectures. I would hope to continue this involvement in undergraduate labs at the University of Liverpool. During my PhD, I worked as a private tutor for a range of ages from GCSE through to undergraduates. I greatly enjoyed the rewarding nature of this work and it inspired me to pursue a teaching or lectureship position. The summer before my PhD, I led a team of 10 interdisciplinary STEM students in a synthetic biology competition hosted by MIT. In this role, I managed a budget in excess of £47,000 and organised a conference for 80 undergraduate students in the Saad, London. I have excellent presentation skills, exemplified by my previous awards for best speaker at the Young Researcher Macro Group Symposiums in both 2019 and 2020. I have presented to a wide range of audiences, reaching from local school groups and members of the public, through to members of parliament and a BBC radio interview. I will use these presentation skills to prepare high quality lectures and ensure clear and efficient dissemination of information to undergraduate students. I am passionate about improving equality, diversity and inclusion in chemistry. I am the head of EDI for the International Younger Chemist Network, leading a committee of 15 researchers, ensuring that EDI is considered extensively for all policies, activities and outputs. Improving lab access for disabled students is something I'm particularly keen on, which is why last year I created STEM Enabled, a website providing guidance on improving existing lab spaces for disabled students and researchers. These guidelines have been positively discussed in chemistry staff meetings at the universities of Warwick, York, Kent, Glasgow, and of course, Liverpool and have contributed towards a paper recently submitted to the Journal of Chemical Education. I'll be very happy to continue this work at the university to ensure that the lab-based component of the course is accessible to all students. I also have prior experience working as a paid EDI consultant for the National Environmental Research Council, a UK research institute funded charity. This consultancy centred on redesigning the fieldwork component of environmental sciences degrees to improve access for disabled students. I would bring this wealth of EDI experience to my teaching practices and ensure that no student was unfairly disadvantaged in their learning. I'm looking forward to talking more about my background and what I can bring to the role at interview. Thank you.